Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are going to create a card and we're going to be using a brand new artist marker set from Alta New. They sent them to me and asked them if I wanted to share it with you. And I said, absolutely. This is a 12 color set. There's two brand new sets. Um, they have lots of different sets at Alta New, but these are brand new to the shop. Um, this is the Sunshine Valley Garden Set. I'll be using this to create my project today. And then there's also another set, um, and it's called Water Garden. Um, this is set F, and then I'll be sh showing you the set G at the end if you guys want to look. The colors are fabulous. Each set has 12 colors. They're alcohol-based. Uh, they're dual-tipped, and they have a brush end and a fine end. So great for coloring. To color, today I'm bringing in an Alta New stamp set called Vintage Garden. This is so pretty. Um, I'm going to stamp one of the flowers and also two of the leaves with Memento Rich Cocoa ink. Now normally I use my Tuxedo Black ink, but I thought we would soften it a little bit with the brown ink. And I think pinks and browns just go beautifully together. So I stamped with my Rich Cocoa ink. Um, we're going to set everything aside. I'll zoom in. For my coloring, I'm going to be using the pinks and the greens in the Sunshine Valley Garden set. This is actually a set F um, of the new sets. There's another set. Uh, the Water Garden is set G. Um, and I say that only because there's more sets in at Alta New. So these are just the ones that are brand new. They also have individually a colorless blender too, and I'll be using this just to highlight some of the edges of my flower. Um, the colorless blender is super nice. Um, and again, this has the brush and fine tip also. These are the pinks, and then these are the greens. What we have left over are some real pretty um, yellows. They're actually more like a um, sunshiny yellows, which is really, I guess that's why they call it Sunshine Valley Garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play some music, color in my floral hair, and then when I'm done coloring, I will get you back.
coloring is all done. You can see I used my colorless blender to highlight some of those areas. It's going to really pull back um, the lighter pink to where it just almost highlights it. So that's what I like to do with the colorless blender. I do have the coordinating dies to my get, uh, vintage garden stamp set. So we're going to take both the leaves and then the floral die and cut out our super pretty flower. And then once this is die cut, we're going to create our background. Now, um, just punch these out. For my background, I thought we would use the leaves in the stamp set and bring that rich cocoa ink back in um, and create a, a leafy frame. Now, I, I wanted a certain size of a frame because I'm going to be using these fine frame rectangle dies. Um, I want two of them, so I'm just trying to figure out the spacing between them. The fine frame rectangles die set um, creates like six or seven um, itty bitty frames you can see here. Um, and I'm trying to space them to where there's maybe a quarter inch between each of these two frames. I'm just gonna use two for my project. And I did die cut them out with some brown cardstock. Okay, I took the largest one. Next, I'm gonna bring in some masking paper. Altenew has some pretty nice masking paper. I'm gonna take a sheet and then trim it down to the largest size of my frame here. Um, once I have it trimmed down, I'm going to remove the release paper and center it on a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. So we're basically going to create a frame that is slightly smaller than our card base. Once our mask is adhered, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my ink and then also the, um, the three leaf image in the stamp set. I thought this would be perfect for the corners. So I'm sorry about the shaky camera. <laughs> I didn't realize um, I was pressing so hard actually. <laughs> I always thought it was heavy handed, but boy, I wasn't kidding. So sorry about the shaky camera. Um, I'm just filling in the edges. Um, what I'm basically going to end up doing is remove the uh, masking paper and I'm going to have a leafy brown frame. And I thought this would look really pretty around my floral image. Um, my floral is on a larger side, but I did want to bring a little extra detail to my card today. I'm just filling in some uh, smaller areas with a smaller leaf image in the stamp set. And I'm twisting and turning, basically just filling it in. And I'm loving the way this brown looks, especially for the leaves. We have a few more areas here. Okay, once we have all of our leaves stamped, we can go ahead and remove our release paper. Just wanted to make sure they didn't overlap. Um, there's a lot of detail in the leaves themselves, and if you overlap, I was afraid it, they would get kind of lost. So here is what my frame looks like. Now, next, I have those two, the fine uh, frames that are about a quarter inch in size difference. Um, I'm going to take those and adhere those to my flowers. We're going to go ahead and adhere this panel to our card base, which is a standard A2 size card base, guys. Um, it's a top folding card base. But here are my frames. This is what I meant when I said I adhered them to my flower. I thought this would be easier. If you wanted to glue them down, you could, but I wanted them to be floating a little bit. So I just adhere them with my, my foam squares. This way I can just remove the release paper from my foam squares and then add this in the center of my panel. And then this way I have um, my frame that's popped up, but I also have a clear area on the in the middle. It just makes it so it's not so busy. A little bit of my frame did pop up in this top corner, so to help keep it flat, I have those two leaves that I colored in. We're going to go ahead and add those to each of the corners. It's going to help secure that frame too. For my sentiment in the stamp set, there is a hello. Uh, there's a lot of secondary sentiments, but I'm just going to use the hello for my card today. Um, I'm going to take my scissors and fussy cut the word hello out, just following the line of the words, of the word, <laughs> and then I'll add some foam adhesive behind this, and then we'll place this on the flower a little bit towards the left. Hello. 
lovely. And you can see the markers are so nice because you don't have to worry about picking or choosing if they're going to blend together or not. Altenew does that for you, which makes it fabulous. And the same with the leaves, guys. Um, that's a great thing about having marker sets. But I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue and then we're going to sparkle it up by adding some clear gems. These are on the smaller side, so it just adds a touch of sparkle. Um, and that's my project for today. I was going to show you, this is again set F and it is the Sunshine Valley Garden set and it has its own case too for storage and then you can keep the box too. You could um, The sides are perforated so you could just tear them off and have them store um, upright which is really nice. So there is set F and then you have set G which is the water garden. Um, water garden has some beautiful blues and uh, browns which are really nice. So these are brand new to the shop. My project today is part of a blog hop and a giveaway. Um, it is pretty big too. I encourage you guys to join in the fun. Um, uh, there's lots of inspiration. The blog links for that are down below. Have a great day. We will see you again listen guys. Bye bye.